morning, everyone. That's just to wake you up. <laughs> Good to see all of you today here in the final week of preparation and the beginning of Holy Week as we listen today in the readings about light and darkness, certainly appropriate themes for the uh, anticipation of what's going to happen to our Lord in liturgical uh, remembrance. So let us begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind the fact that, yes, we are sinners, but Christ died for all of us, and we are prepared now to embrace his gift of salvation. You were sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. You came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. You plead for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through, though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Today's responsorial psalm is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served with Lazarus, was one of the, those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of the disciples and the one who would betray him said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? Well, he said this, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal from the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. A large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Sunday paper yesterday, my friends, the Lockhorns, had a fight. And Leroy is standing at the door with a nice bouquet of flowers. And Loretta standing there with her arms folded and said, well, these flowers will help me to forgive. But an expensive box of chocolates will also help me to forget. So he was halfway there, <laughs> flowers and chocolates. Well, we hear about light and darkness, don't we, today? The Lord is my light and my salvation, as we hear from Isaiah in that first reading today. Their God, our God, is a God of light, a God of salvation. And he leads his people in paths that will come to uh, help them understand that God is on their side, that he is their friend, that God is our friend, he's on our side. Even when we fail and stumble in the darkness of our sinfulness, God sheds his compassionate light upon us and helps us up to get going again in the right path that leads to glory. In the gospel story today, we see that same pattern happening here in Jesus on his way to Jerusalem with his disciples. They stop at Bethany, which is right outside of Jerusalem and the little town where Martha and Mary and Lazarus live. And as we have said many times over, this was kind of his second house or his second home. Whenever he would go to Jerusalem, he would stay with them. He would sleep on their floors, he would eat at their table, he would uh, be their company, he would laugh with them and he would cry with them. He was, they were his second family, if you will. And so on his way to Jerusalem, for what we know was going to happen to him, he stopped there first. That was a light for him. And it was a light for 
learnt Lazarus, Martha, and Mary as well. They were delighted that he was there. They had a dinner and so forth. And then Mary perfumed Jesus' feet because in those days there was no pavements. It was all dust, all dirt, and all kinds of stuff from the, from the roads and so forth. So they, they washed his feet. She washed his feet with this aromatic nard. It's a very expensive perfume oil, and she dried her, his feet with her hair as a sign of love, as a sign of welcome. Well, Judas, being true to himself, says, look at her spilling all this expensive oil and so forth. It could have been sold, you know, and we could have given the money to the poor. Well, he wanted to help himself to the contributions, too. There's where darkness enters. And finally, at the end of the, the story of today's gospel, more darkness enters. Crowds start gathering around the house of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, hearing that Jesus was there, and, and they wanted to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And then the Pharisees and the Sadducees were trying to plot to kill not only Jesus, but Lazarus too. Darkness, darkness. Did darkness prevail for a brief time? And it will be completely dark five days hence when he goes to mount his body upon the cross and die for our salvation. But again, in three days, the light will shine as we will liturgically ourselves uh, reenact the first light that comes through that door of the church on Easter Saturday night. Jesus is alive. The light has overcome the darkness and we all bask in its beauty. I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that God hears and answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, universal, as we begin Holy Week, may we surrender to the beauty and love of Jesus Christ and realize our communion with people most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that civil authorities will use their power to protect the poor and oppose injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joanne Giannino, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we continue now to draw forth unto the special celebrations of he who has offered himself for our salvation and our life, he who brings light to our lives. Let us pray that this light will burn brightly within our hearts, not only during this Holy Week, but for the whole year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who helps us and accompanies us on the way to salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, uh, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Our death.
Let's see, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, <clears throat> which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. For the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Children of the light, let us stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment that we incur bear for us the fruit of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by the gracious gift this year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, that they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, and with all the angels and archangels and thrones and dominions and all of the hosts of the powers of heaven, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down upon them, this is your spirit, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Away when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Taste this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with all St. Joseph, her devoted spouse, with St. Mary, St. Martha, and St. Lazarus, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let the light of Christ burn within our hearts as we pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us shine the light of Christ upon one another in offering a sign of his peace. Behold the true light of the world, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. And happy are we this morning to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with an ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy for eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Let us bow our heads and pray for our, our Lenten blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that we may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observances, but above all with purity of mind through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and a great week.